we have the Starbucks slice, 61 grams of carbs. And then we have our loaf. This entire thing has 30 grams of carbs. Hey guys, I'm Myra, and today we're making the Starbucks pumpkin bread loaf. Stay tuned to see which one is homemade. We're gonna get started with our almond flour. Super simple recipe. You're gonna have one bowl. We're tossing everything into the bowl. So here, almond flour, okay? We have our sweetener. So a little baking powder. We have pumpkin spice. Guys, I am just so on point with my sniffing skills. <laughs> okay, that was pumpkin spice. And then this is some um, cinnamon. Okay. Always give your dry ingredients like a good little toss, a little mix, so that um, all the dry ingredients are kind of evenly distributed before you add your wet ingredients. We have our wet ingredients or eggs. And if you can use pasture raised eggs, if not, whatever you use is obviously gonna work. Now let's toss in our pumpkin puree. Now, be very careful with pumpkin pie um, filling because that has a ton of sugar. Pumpkin puree does not. So this is just like organic pumpkin puree. We have our vanilla. I'm using avocado oil, but you can also use butter. This is just gonna be a dairy-free version, but if you wanna use butter, you're, it's gonna work and it's gonna be delicious. This is optional, but if you want that additional like um, pumpkin flavor, this is a little bit of extract. So pumpkin extract. Okay, we are going to mix this up. And that's how easy it is to make one of these loaves. The Starbucks pumpkin loaf has the pepita seeds on top that are kind of crushed. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do for that. I always like to try my stuff before I bake it because once you bake it, there's no going back. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, it's fine. I'm gonna be fine. That's good. Um, we're gonna do a little pinch of salt because we didn't add it. Now, if you try it and you want it to be like a little bit sweeter, then you adjust it then. Like if you want a little bit more cinnamon or a little more um, pumpkin pumpkin pie um, pumpkin pie spice, then just add it before baking it. Because once you bake it, it's over. I tried it, it's perfect. We're gonna set it aside and I'm gonna show you how I prepare my little bread loaf. What I do is I just grab some aluminum foil, put it in here. So the reason why um, I put a piece of aluminum foil so that, so that it cooks evenly and um, the heat is just distributed across the, the loaf. Okay, so before we add parchment, I just add a little avocado oil because this is like, um, like a glue, like it helps so it doesn't move around. Now, let's pour in our batter. Look at that, nice and thick batter. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, let's set this aside and we have our pepita seeds. How many of you knew that pumpkin seeds are called pepitas? Let me know. I didn't. <laughs> so we're just going to do kind of like a rough chop. Some will still be whole because I feel like that's just gonna add to the, to the look of it. And now we just sprinkle on top. Probably gonna go a little heavy on it because I do want that texture in every slice. The bread is gonna be nice and moist and then you have the little crunchiness from the seeds. It's gonna work out really well. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and bake this for about 30 to 35 minutes. I'm gonna show you exactly what it should look like. So stay tuned so you check out the texture of this amazing loaf. That's so beautiful. I cannot wait to compare. All right guys, let's go in for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm, que rico. Wow. Mm -hmm. Spot on, 10 out of 10. All right guys, so the team loved it, I loved it. I'm gonna leave the recipe linked in the description below. That link's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where I'm gonna have this recipe, it's gonna be a printable recipe along with exclusive recipes that you're not gonna find anywhere else on the internet. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends and family that might be living a low carb lifestyle or that you already know is gonna love this recipe. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and just a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.